Hey guys, it's WaifuGate here again. So today we're going to be going over another epic match of the week. This time it's with the new variation of Field of the Dead Golos versus me piloting that versus uh, Mono Red Schmork and Historic. Uh, usually epic match of the week, I try to do this once a week. Usually I release the video on Thursdays. And it's just sort of highlighting like best of three gameplay, the sideboard plan, all of that kind of goes into detailed play-by-plays. I usually try to pick a uh, matchup where I actually go into depth of, of talking about stuff. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. It's a, it's a working progress though, all right? And also, um, as a side note, we have an MTGA giveaway code in this video somewhere. It'll pop up in red text, it's first come first serve. It's for an individual card reward, so it could be a mythic, rare, or uncommon card. And if you want to, you can drop what you get in the comments below, that way people know that the code is already grabbed for one. And then for two, we keep a leaderboard on stream, uh, just for fun on my stream, it's uh, like bragging rights, like yeah, I pulled the questing beast, now I'm at the top of the leaderboard. It's just kind of a fun thing, you know? Um, so if you guys are interested in that, just look for the code. Uh, jam it in and let me know what you get. Um, and that being said, I'm going to move into the uh, into the gameplay now. Here we go. Um, so we're not going to have that list yet because we can't change our list in the middle of an event. Once you submit a list, it is locked in until you uh, are done the event, until you resign, etc. Until you start a new one, basically. So we're stuck with our old list with one behemoth and garbage land setups. I had the land set up for Fabled Passage and then I just didn't have Fabled Passage in my list. And I think it's more important not to have Fabled, but instead to have better lands overall that just come into play untapped and just more different copies of different lands. Because when you have Fabled Passage, yes, that is a different land, but the moment you crack it, it gets a basic, which you might already have a copy of, yeah. I think we keep this. Okay, so we're up against red. Which um, no scry, probably for another land. Yeah, fine. We have two shatters. So, as long as we don't die, we live. How dumb is that statement? Light up the stage. Okay, good. Uh, so we have to shock this in, which is sad. But then we get to explore, and we can put this triome in. We have extra, extra green, I believe. Now, we don't have shatter on four yet. Which is sad. What do you think of Grazer? I think it's okay, but it's outshined by Explore. I mean, aggro is relevant, but which one's better off the top, you know? That's sort of where we're at. Okay, so we do get um, Shatter here, which is nice. They get tokens. They get two, three, four tokens. But then we get to Shatter again, unless they have another Annex, which is rough. But I mean, even if they have another Annex, it doesn't matter, right? Okay, cool. So they're just going in. Which is cool for us. So Shatter here. Play Triome. Upwards of six mana to work with next turn. So we can Rejuvenator and... Um... Okay, so they have double Steamkin. Shatter off the top one time. Yeah. You guys wish you were me sometimes with this... Uh this power. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna go rejuvenator here just so we can chomp. And maybe, like, there's a chance that we could have gotten, um, that we could have gotten a, uh, a Field of the Dead off of that. We can chump here unless they have Cleave. If Cleave is their last card, so be it, you know? We still have to chump here, I think. Okay, so that is their last card. We still take a bunch of damage here. Down to one. We can Uro. Does Uro even save us, though? I don't think so.
grow into like I don't know. That saves us. Okay, so the summary there, the summary is play to your outs even if you don't know what your outs are, okay? Just play to them. Simple. Play to your outs even if you don't know what they are. All right? That's all I gotta say. It's too slow here. I feel like Golos is a bit slow, but I don't know. Hydroid, yeah. I'd rather have the Rejuvenator in, right, to ramp. This is one of our only options for Ember Cleave. Yeah, no, I think I think you're right. I think hydroids are too slow. I just hate taking them out. I've seen more stands, but I don't I don't think I keep that. This is better. Put Golos back, I guess. Monkey paw. Alright, so they get a card off the top. Don't get a land, please. Oh my god, they get a land. Oof. Triome? And another land. That's scam. Okay. We just run it back. We don't need anything new here. Well, I mean, like, we had a mole too. And we, we picked the wrong card to keep. Mole. This looks fine. I'm probably just going to put back Golos, I would say. The Golos is okay, but I kind of just want to have lands this time. Maybe now I get flooded, but we'll have to see. We got a pretty quick start here. Okay. Island, yep. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't uh wasn't boning myself there. Um, we'll take the temple for the scry, right? Don't really want another land at this point. We're kind of okay. If we do want to land, it's Field of the Dead, yeah. So if they have a Nex, it's kind of rough. But even if they have a Nex, it's kind of fine. We just get to chump for free and chill. Yeah, double steamkin. Oh yes, indeed. They're like, you don't have the shatter. <laughs> but I do. Um, probably blue, I guess. Steamkin. All right. Nice. Big flex. That was more like a small flex. All right, so hopefully the gameplay was a little uh, little fun for you guys. Uh, I'll have the list exportable for that Golos list 
uh, down below. Um, so you guys can grab the list if you're interested in playing that. I also have a deck guide, which I'll probably also link in the end panel coming up soon, uh, where you can also hit to subscribe. Usually I like to do this epic match of the week at least uh, once a week. And then I usually do like two to three deck guides in a week. And I do like meta analysis for um, decks that did really well in like leagues, like the MTGO leagues stuff that keeps up for competitiveness. That stuff's more for standard, but I also do viewer decks, which are more for historic. A lot of people like to submit those lists and get feedback. So I uh, got a lot of different stuff in the YouTube con uh, content department. Um, so if you guys like that, feel free to subscribe on the end panel coming up here. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. Um, once again, there is a code in the video um, if someone hasn't already grabbed it. And uh, hope that this was helpful. And I will catch you guys for the next video. Thanks for, thanks for checking this one out.